I looked at several different engineering programs, some at big universities, some at uh, smaller engineering colleges, and I was impressed by the fact that Stevens had a community, that it wasn't like there was the engineers in a separate school who did their thing, separate and apart from the rest of the student body. It was one campus community, and the engineers that I met were much more dynamic than the ones I met at other schools. So I, for me, in many ways, it was the student body that I met when I came to visit that sold me on the school. At Stevens, we have something called technogenesis, which is the transition of great ideas to um, the betterment of society. And as uh, senior design projects, there's a competition to see which one has the best senior design idea. And we had heard that several biomedical projects that had come before us in prior years had uh, gone on to become successful uh, patent producing companies. And we were inspired to ra you know, raise the bar and reach that level. And right now we have a uh, patent pending with the United States uh, Patent and Trade Office. Um, hopefully it will turn into something that will reach the market and improve the healthcare industry. Uh, but that was our inspiration was what could we develop that would be new, inspiring, and revolutionize medicine. There's what we call a design spine. So from the moment you start at Stevens, you begin taking design courses. Um, you start out with stuff like robots and bridges, and then you build up to your capstone project, which is usually something new, innovative. It could be something uh, commissioned by a company. It could be research uh, with a professor, or it could be some new idea created by students. Uh, we had taken a earlier class on introduction of electrical technologies to the medical field. Um, and as biomedical engineers, we thought this was an interesting platform. So we used impedance technology, started doing research about what uh, impedance diagnostic tools were currently on the market, which ones were FDA approved, which ones had significant research, and took uh, a composite of different designs that we saw in the literature and decided to come up with a new way of doing that. Um, it's a new iteration, it's one step beyond what we had seen before, and as of now we have a patent pending with the um, USPTO for an Im impedance mammography device. So what it'll do is create 3D images of breast tissue based on um, the actual electrical properties as opposed to the secondary uh, artifacts such as calcifications for x-ray. Um, by looking at the actual tissue, we know not only whether or not it's abnormal, but whether it's cancerous, whether it's benign, without performing the biopsy, um, because the impedance level for cancerous tissue is significantly different, it's six times um, greater than for normal tissue. So along that gradient from cancerous to normal, you can determine what is actually going on inside. Stevens has pioneered different relationships with um, hospitals, teaching hospitals, and we're moving forward with clinical research with some of the best and brightest uh, medical minds, um, introducing some of the engineering ideas that are brought out by students and professors so that we have some really great collaborations taking place as we speak. <laughs> it's kind of funny, now it seems like I'm a mentor since I started the project. I happen to be the principal inventor, so now there are graduate students and undergraduate students who are taking us forward. So during the summer, undergraduate students are able to devote 40 hours a week to really work on the project, as well as master's students who uh, are redeveloping and creating new ideas based on the initial design as part of their master's thesis. And so I come back occasionally and meet with them to talk about, you know, they might have a question about why we did a particular design um, option as opposed to a different one. And we can talk about that because I'm still around and visiting. We're working with these hospital groups where the physicians are able to give us some great feedback about what they'd prefer to see, what would be helpful to them, so that those ideas are integrated into the design and makes it much more marketable and useful. The fact that Stevens is a smaller uh, campus community with a smaller student body means that students get much more attention from the faculty as well as the administration. Uh, for instance, my sister just applied to Stevens as well as many other great schools and through the process. I mean, there's so many forms and applications and parts and interviews. They called her as opposed to her calling them. Uh, when she had questions, if she couldn't get someone on the phone, they would call her back. Whereas we found at some of the bigger universities, she was just another student, another number in their system. Um, and here, when you get to Stevens, 
you have special attention. If you ever need anything, you can find someone who will either point you in the right direction or give you the assistance you need. And then from that point, if you have a great idea, if there's a club you want to start, if there's a sports team that you played on for the past 16 years and they don't have it here, you have the opportunity to be that leader to step up to the plate and create something new. After receiving a degree in biomedical engineering, I decided to go to law school to study health law, specifically how to solve the problems facing the healthcare industry. Um, the healthcare industry is one of the most highly regulated fields, and so therefore, in order to just do business, there's a lot of problem solving that takes place every day. And Stevens taught me how to be a problem solver. Whether it's an engineering problem or it's a legal problem, I find that I use a lot of the same logical techniques and skills that I learned here now as a law student. Stevens, while staying true to its roots as a broad-based engineering and technical background or technical education, continues to redevelop itself. There are new majors, there are new organizations on campus, there are new research projects and uh, areas going on continually. And as the world changes, Stevens is innovating with the world. We're bringing out new technologies that change our local communities and those beyond us, as well as those communities. We have international students, international faculty who come back and change the dynamic and the culture of innovation that we have here.